Hey everybody, Simon here, and I thought I would just uh, give you all a quick update video. Um, it's been a while since we sat down and had a little chat, just to let you know what's going on with me, uh, what's going on with the channel, and what lies ahead in the future. Um, and, you know, I think it's a good time just to sit down and chat. Um, so, firstly, I hope you're all doing okay. 2020 has been a hell of a year, but um, we are two-thirds of the way through it, so hopefully... The rest of the year goes without a hitch, and 2021 gives us much better things than this year did. Um, this year has been up and down for so many reasons for myself, um, even outside of the pandemic. Um, but, you know, focusing on YouTube first and foremost, and then we'll kind of move on to, you know, what's going on in my life and whatnot. Um, you may notice that the channel isn't uploading as regular as it used to say a year ago, um, where I'd be putting out a video almost every day. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, one of the reasons is because I've got my anime channel now, where I am trying to upload every day in addition to uploading onto this channel. Um, I, I'll be blunt and honest and say that I enjoy anime more than I do um, most of the shows that I watch on this channel, uh, because... I find that um, the style of episode is uh, tighter. I enjoy the stories, the characters. I enjoy the shorter episodes a lot more. Um, obviously, it comes with its own complications because, you know, copyright is far more stringent for anime than it is for live action. So that's why I create a separate channel, um, you know, to not have that effect of this channel. So if, um, if you are interested in my anime reactions... Um, head over, I'll put the link in the comments and in the description, it's called Firefly Animation Reactions. Um, I'm having a lot of fun watching shows like Naruto, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Cowboy Bebop, um, and you know, there's going to be a lot more coming over time there. Um, as for this channel, um, you know, as I say, there is still content coming, there are still shows that I'm watching. Um, we had a very sad ending this week with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. saying goodbye. Um, that's been one of my... I'd say that's been my favourite ever show that I've watched. Um, someone said to me that if I like hit 30,000 subs, then I should do like an updated top 10 shows uh, list that I did. Um, if you remember my 10,000 subscriber video, um, I did a list. And that was like three years ago. So I really do need to update it. And so I probably will do. If we ever hit 3,000, I'll give you an updated list. But safe to say right now... Um, whereas Game of Thrones, uh, oh, well, I can't remember if it was the time it was Game of Thrones or Clone Wars that was at the top of that list, but it's safe to say that right now it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that's top of my list. Um, it's going to take a hell of a beating to get that knocked off of the perch um, by anything else. So, um, yeah, that was obviously one of the shows that I'd been watching since the beginning of the channel, and it's always sad when a show like that has to go. Um... As for if anything is going to take its place, I'm considering Umbrella Academy Season 2. Um, those episodes are obviously very long, but there's only 10 of them, I think. So um, I probably will start watching that at some point. Um, it's probably not going to be this week. In fact, I think I'm probably going to take this week off from posting on this channel. Um, just because I want to take some time to kind of have a think about how I want to structure the content here and how I want to deliver it. Um... You know, because this is the channel I struggle with most, because it's a very inconsistent channel, and um, sometimes I do get a little bit um, frustrated with it, because, you know, um, it doesn't perform as well as I'd like it to with certain shows, like, you know, um, at the moment, I average probably about six or 700 views a video, and, um, you know, whilst I'm very appreciative for that, the growth over the last four years, you know, it's not quite there. Um, although the sub count kind of steadily goes up, you know, the viewership kind of stays the same. And it's it's a general issue with a lot of reaction channels that because it's a variety content, you know, not everyone watches every video. So your sub count doesn't always reflect the view count. Um, and, you know, you try and reason with yourself at times, but sometimes it does get frustrating when you sit there and you look at the view counter. Um, and it's, you know, in the hundreds when you've got thousands of subs, but... I try not let it get to me, you know, honestly, like I say, this is, this is a hobby, um, and, you know, I try and keep it that way as much as I can, um, but there's also other reasons as to why I'm taking a little break, and that kind of goes into, um, a personal 
life update um and it's because my job is coming to an end we were given an end date of november um so i'm going to be being let go from my current job um on the 28th of november so um although that's still over three months away i'm kicking into high gear right now with the job search so that's going to take up a lot of my time um you know it's been a couple of years since i've needed to uh take a look at my cv and get it updated so you know i'm going to focus a lot on that um especially in this current environment with the pandemic although it's not quite the same as it was back in um you know sort of april may with a lot of places being shut there's still a lot of people who are going out of work a lot of competition for jobs so you know i'm trying to get ahead of the curve as early as i can and put a lot of time and effort into um finding another full-time job because as much as i would love to do youtube full-time um it doesn't look like it's a realistic prospect because you know youtube just doesn't pay anywhere near enough for it to be full-time even even with patreon support um which is amazing um it's still just not enough to you know push me over that line and i'm the type of person who at the moment i'm living month to month so i need to have that steady stable income um otherwise you know i'd be in trouble fairly quickly so that's going to be my main focus for the next few weeks so um again if channel if channel videos do slow down and like i say i'm going to be taking this next week off from here then you know i apologize for that but like i say i need to find a new job um you know by november so that's going to be my main focus um as for other life updates um me and my boyfriend are celebrating five months together tomorrow um yeah, we got together right before lockdown hit here in the UK. And so whilst we'd been together for a while, we didn't actually get to see each other until May. I think it was the end of May. So it was almost like three months into the relationship before we even got to go on a date for the first time, I guess you would say. And, um, you know, we've thankfully been able to see each other a lot more in the last few weeks because, you know, lockdown restrictions have eased. And so we feel more comfortable um having to go out and about and because we have to travel um about two hours either way um you know it's not like we can go and see each other every day it's it's something that we have to sort of plan for um but we are getting on really well um it's going really good and he's a great guy and um you know i'm very very happy um with how things are going and uh you know i love him dearly um we went and played mini golf last week um and he met my mum for the first time. Um, she took a an immediate liking to him, which is great. And so, uh, you know, things are going really good. Next week, I'm going to his. I'm going to go meet his parents. So that's obviously a little bit of a... It's always a big milestone, you know, for a relationship. And so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll be all right, I think. Uh, but things are going really good, you know. Um, like I say, it's just crazy. It's been five months because with the way the pandemic has been, it and the way it's made the relationship go very very slowly um it hasn't felt like that long but i think really it's benefited us because it's made sure we haven't jumped into anything too soon and um you know we've kind of naturally allowed it to um develop and um, we were already close before we got together you know we were very good friends but um you know just allowing us to take our time with this aspect because it's very strange going from a friendship to a relationship um you know for anyone who's done that i'm sure you'll understand if you don't it's 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 hard to describe because there is a lot of anxiety over well what if this doesn't work you know will it ruin the friendship and that's something that you know almost it almost prevents us from getting together in the first place because neither of us wanted the friendship to be ruined if things didn't go well um and whilst you sit there and say no well no we'll be friends we'll be friends if something doesn't go right you know it's very hard to you know make that promise in your head at the time because i know what it's like to go through a tough breakup and how it destroys your um feelings for a person and so you know it was a very it was a very carefully considered decision to enter into a relationship but it's going really well and uh like i say we're we're both very happy so it's it's an awesome thing um as for other things that are going on in my life uh, i'll talk a little bit about weight loss 
Um, you know, and so 2020 really has been a massively up and down year for me, way more ups than downs. Um, the, the year started on a down because uh, on January the 13th, my nan passed away. Um, and you know, she was, she was very near and dear to me. Um, she was such a sweet old lady. Um, honestly, one of the best people, you know, you could ever ask to have as a family member. Um, and she'd been sick for a while. She was in a care home. She'd had dementia. Um, and you know, um, she'd had a number of other health problems. And so it wasn't necessarily a shock, you know, she was 86. So it's not like you, you don't expect it, but obviously when it happens, it's still, you know, devastating. And, um, you know, one of the good things to come off the back of that is that it snapped me into a motivated mode where the next day I just, I just said to myself, I'm going to start a weight loss program. Uh, at the time I was the heaviest I'd ever been. I was 27 stone, which is about 377 pounds. Um, and you know, I got to work and in the two months that followed, I went on a strict ketogenic diet and I managed to lose 40 pounds. Um, I went from 377 down to about 336 um, by the middle of March. And I was very, very happy with, with how things were going. Um, and then lockdown hit. And that made things a bit of a struggle because I was no longer going out to work, getting exercise um, that way, you know, which is how I, because, you know, traveling to work was quite a distance. I didn't have a car, so I'd have to walk a fair amount. Um, and that was helping me on the weight loss. And then when lockdown came and we were forced to work at home, it's, it was a struggle, you know, cause I am, um, I'm a person who I don't have the greatest motivation to exercise. I'm one of those kinds of people that when I'm in a good routine, I'll do it, but it's getting into that routine. And if that routine is interrupted, I find it very difficult to get back into. And so, um, I struggled with no exercise um it became more and more uh difficult to stick to the you know the diet and eventually i had a day off and one day off turned into two days off and um i started to fluctuate i started to sort of spend a week gaining five pounds and a week losing five pounds and over the next two to three months i didn't really make any progress i didn't put any weight on but i didn't make any further progress and i kind of went up and down sort of between 336 pounds and 345. Um, you know, I'd, I'd start to see my weight creep back up and I'd snap back into it, get into the routine, go back down. But then I'd have a day off or the temptations would get too much and I'd go back up and then I'd go back down. And so it's been like that now for the last sort of four months where, you know, I've struggled with cravings. I've struggled with, um, motivation, um, you know, and, and so it's, it's, it is a struggle. And, you know, at the moment I've been back up on those upward curves and I'm very, very aware that I've been on an upward curve. So, um, you know, I do plan on snapping myself back into, you know, um, a regime of fitness. And I'm hoping that when I do get a new job, it is going to be somewhere that I can, um, walk to, or there is walking involved. And, um, you know, I, that'll kickstart me on the exercise side of things. Um, you know, I was in a pretty good weight loss uh, fitness sort of regime um, a f probably a month ago where I was doing weight training. That wrote really well. But then again, sometimes you just lose the motivation. And again, I struggle so much with motivation and um, I struggle so much with my cravings. What happens for me is that my cravings will build and build and build and build until I'll give in a little and then it's kind of like a waterfall you know the barriers completely break but what breaks the barriers most is a feeling of failure so when I give in to the cravings I feel like a failure and that dejects me even more and then I start to hate myself because I feel like a failure and that just tempts me to eat more and more and more because eating makes me feel good you know when I'm eating I feel great I feel happy, you know, uh, but then immediately once you stop, you feel like a failure. And so you start to search for ways to make you feel happy again. And a lot of the time, the only way by doing that is to give into cravings again. And so that's been a real, real struggle. If you've not, if you've not struggled with addiction, it's very hard to describe. If you have struggled with addiction, 
you understand what the cravings are like, and you can understand, I guess, how giving into the cravings can lead to that um, tumbling effect. Um, and especially so with food. You know, food is unique in an addiction in that if I was addicted to smoking, alcohol, drugs, gambling, you know, any of those other vices, there is the possibility of going cold turkey. There is literally the possibility of just giving it up straight, never, ever doing it again. And eventually your cravings would disappear because you forget. You forget what it's like. You forget the highs that it gives you. Food is different in that you need to eat to live. You know, and you're constantly surrounded by food. Our society is driven on excess. Our society is driven on indulgence. Um, You know, how many adverts do you see every day for fast food or for luxurious, you know, food items? Um, Restaurants line our streets all over the place. Supermarkets are packed with, you know, bright colored packagings and all these different adverts. So it's very, very, very difficult to try and completely keep your mind off of, you know, the foods that you want, especially when you have to eat every day. And that, even if you're eating the healthiest meal in the world, even if it tastes slightly good, you're still getting that bit of a hit, you know, and so it's still always there. It's always there in your mind, you know, that, um, that addiction is never going to go and there's always that small bit of temptation to say this is good why don't we go the next step and you know just have something small and then that becomes let's have something big and then let's have something excessive you know and it's such a struggle um but i i've i've come out of the mindset of thinking i need to lose the weight right now i need to see consistent weekly losses because you know that's the only way i'm going to lose weight you know i've accepted the fact that I'm going to fluctuate a lot of the time. I'm going to have periods where I do really well. I'm really motivated. I'm going to have that two-month stretch where I lose 40 pounds. And then I might have a four-month period where I struggle. But as long as I come out at the end of that period down on the original, then it's a win. I'm looking at yearly losses rather than weekly losses now. I'm saying to myself, well, if by the end of December comes and I'm 40 pounds down from where I was in January, that's a win. Then I can say to myself in 2021, the aim is to lose another 40 pounds by the end of the year. And if I can lose that 40 pounds by March, and then I struggle for the rest of the year to lose more, and you know I kind of fluctuate up and down until December, it's another win because that's 80 pounds in two years. And then I repeat the process in 2022, I could get up to 120 pounds in three years, which is putting me into an area where I'd be quite comfortable. You know, my my goal weight would be around 200 to 220 pounds. With the height and the frame I have, I'm never going to be like 13 stone. You know, that's too skinny for me. My my weight is always going to be between 15, 16 stone. That's where my weight should be because I've got a big frame. I'm quite tall. Um... And so that would be a healthy weight. So, you know, where I'm sitting at now, I've got about nine stone to lose. Um, I started off with about 12 stone to lose. So I'm three stone down, um, almost. And, you know, as long as I can keep that up and lose three stone a year, I'll hit my goal in three years. You know, by the time I'm 35, if I'm fit and healthy at 35, that's a massive success. You know, I think a problem with a lot of weight loss for people who are my size, who are typically morbidly obese, um, is that they want the weight gone now. They want the weight gone immediately um, because it is such a drain on your life that you just want rid of it. When you get into that motivated mode, you just want rid of it because you're like, yeah, I can do this now. Let's just get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. But that's where the struggle comes in because it doesn't. It takes a long time to get to the size that someone like me is. It's going to take a long time to get back to being a normal size. And I think that, you know, you have to come to terms with that as someone who needs to lose weight in order to, you know, get in the right mindset for a successful weight loss journey. Could take you three years, could take you four years. As long as you get there, you get there. You know, as long as you're making losses every year, doesn't matter. You're doing the right thing. You're you're heading in the right direction. 
You know, some people will finish the journey quicker because they do have that extra strength and motivation. Um, others are going to take a bit longer. It's just, it's a natural thing. It's very much like YouTube. YouTube, you could be, you know, talented. You could be great, but some people might get ahead of you because there are numerous, numerous factors. You've just got to accept it, you know? Some people are going to have a better break. Some people are going to have better luck. Some people are going to have more skill. They're just going to be better than you. And once you accept that, it takes a whole load of pressure off your shoulders, you know, and you start to be happier, you know. So now I accept my, you know, fallibilities. I, I accept my, you know, strengths and my weaknesses. I accept that I've done really well to lose the weight I've lost. And I accept that, you know, I should have done better. But ultimately, it's still a win. And so that's where I am now with that. Um, as for everything else in life, my family are good. Um, you know, my friends are good. My, my friend, um, had a baby, um, back in June. And so that's weird because we've never had someone in our group of friends have a baby before. And so it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you realize you're getting older. First, your friends get married, then they have a baby. And it's like, oh God, we're, we're our parents now. You know, we're in that age range where it's like, damn. We should be starting families and that. It's 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 kind of weird. Um, but I'm only 32, so I'm still young-ish. You know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. Um, I've been back to streaming recently. I've been really, really enjoying it. I've loved the little community we built over on there. Um, you know, with the regulars who show up. Um, you know, like Cal, Jaden, uh, Neon, Ben. You know, th there were so many people. I know I'm going to miss people out, so I'm not going to name everyone. But... Um, you know, I've really enjoyed that community. So if you enjoy watching me on these kinds of videos, um, you'll probably enjoy me streaming. So again, go and give me a follow over on Twitch. Um, I'll put it below and in the comments. Um, you know, I do plan on streaming a lot more in the future. This week, the might it might be a little bit up and down. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've been streaming a bit of Fall Guys recently. I've been really enjoying playing that uh, with friends because I'm, I'm actually quite good at it. Um, I've already got a few wins under my belt. Microsoft Flight Simulator comes out this week, which I'm really excited for because I'm a bit of a aviation nerd. Um, and I've just been, you know, enjoying playing different games. I've been playing a lot of The Witcher. Um, I'm a good chunk of the way through that game. I hope to get back to that soon enough. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything from me, really. Um, you know, it went on a bit longer than I expected, but uh, that's everything that's going on right now with me. And um, I hope that. You know, everything is going well for you at home, wherever you are. Um, I hope that you're keeping safe. I hope that you're keeping happy and that 2020 gets better for you. Um, but in the meantime, I want to say a big thank you for, you know, sticking with me, for supporting me, for watching all the way through to the end of this video. It's been, um, yeah, it's been interesting to sort of give myself a retrospective of the year so far. But um, no, I really do appreciate your support. You know, it means a lot to me to have someone there, um, even though it's online, you know, just to give me words of encouragement, to hang out with me, and to, you know, just watch my stuff. So thank you for that. In the meantime, I hope you all have a lovely end of the weekend. Uh, enjoy your week, and I'll see you next week for uh, when I start videos back up on this channel.